Thanks, Samantha. That's the WCF Insurance Sideline Report. I think Sam did a fantastic job really conveying the information of what this group has talked about. The ability to go on the road and play with confidence, play with style, play with substance, have your identity. Very, very few teams in this league are capable of doing that, playing similar to way away as they do at home. Good ball to Christian rolled on. Daniel Costa gets the deflection shot and a save by Nick Romando. Uh, this is a much more difficult save than Nick Romando makes it look. Program limited to 200 Utah high school girls soccer pages ages 14 to 17. There's a ball in the area. Shot and another save by Romando. Nick Romando coming up big twice here in the middle of the first half. Aces of Nuhu Tolo as he strikes. Give credit to Nick Romando. Kyle Beckerman giving the ball away there. Francis. Francis towards the penalty spot. Great step by Glad. It comes right to Christian Roldan. Back to Wayland Francis into the area, top of the six, and the shot deflected and up over the bar. A great opportunity for the Sanders. Save the day right here. Good ball put in, dangerous spot. Ball just ping ponging around. Silva goes to ground, and he's actually knocked it off of Christian Roldan, which has then gone up and over the crossbar of Nick Romando. Rylock getting his game off. Presumably, we'll see him Wednesday and Saturday. And Presumably Sonny will get another start at some point as well. Yeah, expecting to see maybe a little bit of a rotation between Krylock, Sonny, and Kyle Becker. Bofo. Savarino back to Bofo. Beckerman bared in a shot, and it's right at Stefan Bruck. Yeah, good stuff from both. Play off the shoulder of Clint Dempsey. And then the Burl Dons will sit and protect the back four. Bofo will have a go, and he beat him! Bofo bends it to the post. Fry got a touch, but couldn't keep it out of the back of the net, and RSL, just past the hour mark, takes the lead. A Bofo Saucedo looking to build upon the second half performance on the road in Philadelphia. What a strike this is. Stefan Fry gets a touch to it, but there's absolutely nothing the Seattle Sounders goalkeeper can do about it. The technique, the recognition, the intelligence, get his head up, and then to get that whip, you see the way he comes through. And he got a strong touch, but not enough. What a fantastic goal. Left once for Finland, once for Montreal, once for DC United. He always finds his way back to Seattle. That ball headed up, popped in front, Romano with a save, up on top of the net. How did that not go in? The Sounders are so frustrated. A little bit of ball watching as well. Everyone gets caught watching the path of the ball. No one sticks with Lamar Nagel and he just pushes it up off the cross. Desperately hoping they can find a goal and get a result here. But hard to come by. Francis sends one in. Redirected but wide. McCrary coming in behind Marshall. Puts that into the outside of the side panel. They're just looking for points. And here we are for the last couple of weeks. We've been trying to break down the difficulties away from home. There's a ball headed down and could have been redirected. Couldn't quite get on the end of it. Nick Romando covers up. So it was a minimum of four minutes added on. Now with that substitution, maybe Toledo's going to add a little more time. Mike Petke palms up, is looking at him, saying, blow the whistle, and there it is. It's all over.